for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find um, the north-south distance between two cities that are due north, one, where one is due north of the other one. So city A is due north of city B. The latitude of city A is 40 degrees, 20 minutes north, and city B is 34 degrees, 5 minutes north. So we're going to find the north-south distance between the two cities if the radius of the Earth is approximately 6,400 kilometers, and we're going to round to the nearest kilometer. So if a picture helps you, you can always draw a picture where the intersection here represents the center of the Earth. Okay, um, so if we rotate city A, would be, sorry, city A would be higher. This would be city B. And then let me, I'm, that would actually be city A the way that I drew this. And then let me draw city B a little bit less than that. And so basically what we have is a circle here with a radius of 6,400. Okay, so our radius out there is 6,400 kilometers and A would be north of B, okay? So essentially what we are finding is we're trying to find the arc length between these two cities, okay? So since the Earth is rounded, we are finding an arc length. So if you recall, the arc length is found by taking the radius times the angle measure where theta is in radians. All right, so what we have to do is we have to convert our degrees to radians, but first we have to figure out what is the angle measure in between here. So we have to find theta in between here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna find the difference of the two cities. Okay, so we're going to find the difference of the latitudes. Okay, um, so if it helps, um, what we are going to do is we're going to take the larger one and we're going to subtract the smaller one. So I would take 40 degrees 20 minutes and I'm going to subtract 34 degrees 5 minutes. Okay, so if I simplify this, 40 minus 34, and the first thing that you do want to check to see is if, do I have to borrow? But since 20 is larger than 5, I do not have to borrow from the degrees, so I can just go ahead and subtract. So 20 minus 5 would give us 15 minutes, and 40 minus 34 would give us 6 degrees. Now what we have to do is we have to convert this to decimal degrees so that we're not in minutes. Okay, so I'm going to convert 15 minutes to decimal form. Okay, so remember to do that because of the fact that there are um, 60 minutes in one degree, we're going to take the 15 and we're going to multiply it by one degree over 60 minutes. Okay, so this ends up being 0.25 degrees. So our decimal degree form of this, or our central angle, is going to be 6.25 degrees. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to convert the 6.25 degrees to radians because we can't use the formula without it being in radians. Okay, so with this we would take the 6.25 degrees and we're going to multiply it by pi over 180 degrees. So here is where you want to be careful. Um, if you are converting this to a fraction, or if you wanted to, you could just plug this directly into the formula as is if you don't want to approximate. Be careful with approximations because if you approximate before you plug it into a formula, 
Your answer may be off depending upon how many decimal places they ask you to round to. And I know with some of the online platforms that grade homework, if it's not exactly precise or exactly what the way that they did it, if you round here, it can cause problems in the end. For this one, because it's rounding to the nearest kilometers, I did calculate it both with the exact and with the approximate, if I approximated this here, and I got the same um, kilometers, so it really doesn't matter which one you do, okay? Um, so 6.25 um, is really 25 fourths over 180, so if I end up getting this into um, a fraction or an exact answer, this does work out to be 5 pi over 144. So this would be the exact plug-in. You can also plug it in exactly like this. There's a lot of different ways that you could plug it in. Um, or you could approximate on this one, and if you approximate this, this does end up being approximately 0.10908. Okay, so I could plug this into my um, expression as this, but like I said, if you are using an online platform for your homework, it's best to leave it as exact to plug in um, because if you round differently than they do, then it will throw off the final answer. So just be really careful with that. Just be aware that that can cause problems. Okay, um, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to use the formula S equals R times theta. And remember that we said that R, or the radius of the Earth, is approximately 6,400 kilometers. So we would use 6,400. Okay, I'm going to use the 5 pi over 144 as my approximation. I could also plug this right here in. I could just leave it in this form and plug it in. Just be really careful about plugging it into your calculator. Your calculator doesn't give you the wrong answer. It all depends on how you put it in. And if you input it correctly, it could give you the wrong answer. Okay. Um, so if I plug this into my calculator, I do end up with 698.132. Okay, um, and since if I go back to the problem, it says to round to the nearest kilometer, we can say that the north-south distance between city A and city B is approximately 698 kilometers, okay? Um, so with this, just to kind of recap what we did, remember that you are using the formula for the arc length um, because you're just trying to figure out what is the length of the arc that is in between the two cities for the north-south distance. Um, you do find the difference in the latitudes is your first step. If you are in degrees, which is typically what we use for latitude, you do have to convert the degrees. Um, so if you're in degrees and minutes or degrees, minutes, seconds, you do have to convert it to decimal degrees. And then from decimal degrees, you have to convert it to radians. And then from radians, you would plug it into your formula. And that is how you find the distance. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics, please let me know that as well.